Morning Traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market uh -huh. Strategy video for Wednesday, March 29th. All right, guys. So we had uh, a continuation rally from the lows from yesterday. We talked about this uh, on yesterday's video that um, if we take out yesterday's high, more than likely we're going to continue to move higher and kind of fill in the gap uh, from the market uh, drop yesterday morning at the opening. We did have positive divergence. We talked about the ES and the S&P cash where the S&P cash made a low and the ES did not made a low after the opening. That was positive divergence. We also took out some key areas of resistance from our TMT um, proprietary levels uh, that we have in our videos. So come check us out guys. $15 daily strategy video. I'm going to show you a sample. This is going to go all the way till Friday and then after Friday um, we're just going to be putting out a weekly recap video for you guys, for you free members. Uh, for those of you who are signing up, obviously you're going to get a lot, a lot of information. I'm going to show you the setup we had today. Uh, did very, very well. And welcome again, new subs. And if you guys aren't really uh, um, still hemming on the fence, it's $15 a day, guys. If you can't make $15 on one trade, then you should rethink the, the career that, the career path that you're in. Um, it is a no-brainer. Our algorithm spit out some proprietary levels, our actionable areas where the where price would adhere to. Obviously, things do break down, uh, but I want to show you again. And for those of you who are really active and who really want guidance during the day, to have an idea where price would either gravitate to, break through, act as resistance and or support, you got to check out the Pro Trader Premier video. Sixty nine dollars a month. You're going to get a bunch of indicators. We're going to have trend line supports. We're going to show you support and resistance areas. Obviously, patterns as well. Give you our full technical analysis overview of the markets and what we're trading. We're going to be covering futures, NQ, ES, crude oil, gold, and of course, all of the ETFs. Let's get right to it. So, uh, we had a nice little move up yesterday. Here is our TMT proprietary channels. It, had, it held the channel two days ago. If we took out this high, we were off to the races. Sure enough, we are. And what did I say about the longer-term picture? We're looking for a fourth-wave minor pullback, which I believe we had gotten. I mentioned it on last Monday that we're looking for that uh, pullback last week. We did get it. I would have liked to see a little bit more of a deeper decline, uh, but probably it uh, looks like we might be headed back up again and challenging the highs, and then we start making new highs. In, in, in some sort of a rally that is just basically unbelievable, right? Like, th this is insane. We already know that this is insane from the mar from the uh, November lows. And market's still holding in, defying gravity, and just discounting all of the negativity that Donald Trump can't do, saying that, okay, great, we're going to keep moving forward. Don't worry, it was just one hiccup. Let's keep buying the market. Well, that's exactly what the markets want you to believe and want you to think. In the interim, we are going to buy the market. We're going to buy every dip that, that's possible until it changes. And it will change rapidly when it does happen. We don't know when. It's just a matter of what day, uh, what time of the month that that this market's going to top. Okay? I'll show that to you on the S&P 500, but that's your daily levels. These are your levels today. We did take out a small little level here. That's the next level. We take this out. We're going to back to new highs again, guys. Okay? I How, how sick it seems that's exactly what the market wants to do and we're looking for some sort of a market drop I believe it's sometime into July through October again we'll tighten it up as we see fit but you could see here look at how bad the momentum indicators are MACD didn't even budge but price broke right above it okay remember guys we're trading 26.3 times uh, forward earnings that is just ridiculous um, unsustainable but yet the markets continue to go to defy gravity. And that tells me, just like what happened in 1987, excuse me, uh, 1929, 1987, the 2000 crash, the 2009 crash, it's all about this euphoria of just buying and buying and buying. And I heard, I told you, I mentioned one, one pundit on CNBC said, just close your eyes and buy stocks. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. And yet, CNBC is still in business. It's just incredible. All right, let's keep going. ES, this is what I wanted to show you. We're still intact. We took out the, this small little uptrend line here, uh, and now we're back to uh, we're back testing this line. Now, here's where this is going to be a, a deciding picture here. Either we start the fifth wave now, uh, this fifth wave has ended, and now we're starting a rotation back down again, right? Because here's your move up, right? 
All right, here's that fifth wave up. We had that little fourth minor, and now we're just continuing our fifth wave, right? This is the bigger picture, let's just say. Now, either we do one or two things. Either um, we start the fifth wave, uh, the completion of the fifth wave, we start our downturn, meaning higher, uh, uh, here's your high, lower high, lower high, and we back, we go up a little bit further, maybe into this big zone, and then we just dump. That could happen. I don't suspect it to be. It's too early. There's not enough longs in the market, if you will, meaning that there's not enough retail and the shorts have not capitulated as of yet. So I do think that maybe we get back up here, even if we do a double top, see what happens from there. If we break through it and hold on two or three days above the zone, then we're going higher. Then we're going to take that fifth wave and we're going to expand that fifth wave. Or we can just stop right around here and then really just fall out of bed. That's going to yet to that's yet to be seen, but just keep that in mind of what our two scenarios would be. Okay, that does not uh, really incorporate any type of day trading, but you really need to know even if you're day trading, if you're swing trading more so than day trading. Okay, now here's here's exciting. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Now, this was our level. This held our TMT zones uh, for a buy setup. Okay, I marked it down here. This was the opening. We back-tested the area. We also back-tested the 15-minute range. And, guys, off to the races, okay? Off to the races. You could have peeled off here, here, uh, but we're off to the races today. A lot of the subs made a lot of money today. Hats off to you guys. And let me just show you a snapshot of yesterday's video. So if you look at, uh, again, this is the ES 10-minute, right? But this is yesterday's video, and I just want to point this out and show you where we are here. Okay. Yesterday we had 23.19, right, which is here now, right? Remember, it was lower, 23.29.50, uh, 23.34 and a quarter, 23.34 and a quarter. That's the zone that held. Remember, it was dark green, so it turned light green because it, it kind of ch chipped away at the wall a little bit, if you will. And sure enough, that held. Our subs knew that going into today, and if it held two candles and took out a swing high. Guys, that's your cue to get long. So I want to tell you, I just want to show you to compare you how um, our value areas work incredibly. Okay, it's not going to work every day, obviously. Nothing does, but with proper management and proper setup, and by giving you these value areas and these support resistance areas, you, this this is a no-brainer. Here was the 23.42, right? 23.42 was up here. We took all of that out, and I said in yesterday's video, and again, it's all documented on YouTube, guys. You can go into the 328 video. If we lose this cluster, we're going higher, okay? And sure enough, 23.59 was the high. 23.59, we're way past this zone area, okay? So this is something that um, you really should check us out. If you want the daily videos, because you're swing trading more, it's 15 bucks a day, the technical analysis video. If you're really in-depth and you want to really trade, check us out for the Pro Trader Premier, $69. It's a no-brainer. We give you indicators. We give you all of the valuators. We tie everything in for your technical analysis picture so you can apply your trading plan. All right? Next, let's go take a look at our crude oil. And you can see crude oil here had a little bit of a pop. Very, very weak, guys. I'm looking for one flush back down, uh, back into the 44 and a half area here. Gold, believe it or not, same thing. Gold had a spinning top, two little dojis on top of the swing high. Did not break through it. Sort of a double top here. I'm looking for lower prices. If, if risk on is, on is apparent, and it looks like it is, we have mutual fund inflows that really start to kick in tomorrow. Uh, excuse me, um, actually today, but really tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, and going into ne uh, April, Monday, Tuesday. End of month inflows is bigger than than uh, mid month inflows. Okay, in mutual funds, they got to put a lot of money to work. So retail's coming in at full force here, guys. So they're going to look to buy this market. What does that do to gold? Boop, right back down again. That's where we want. It's going to create the buying opportunity, not up here. Okay, not if there's a risk on environment at the moment. And another reason why. Is, is GDX, all right? I mentioned that many times. Usually GDX, the miners go first. We haven't gone anywhere in like, what, six days? So this is not a good sign. This is why I would not get long gold at the moment. I wanna see what GDX does. If GDX starts to break down, gold will follow, and then we're gonna look for a better buying opportunity, okay, in GDX. Spiders, big bearish rising wedge. We broke the wedge and we came back in it. Again, recapping, recapturing, excuse me, the 50-day moving average. We're just underneath the 21, and we just made the top of the uh, two-day highs of these two in inside days. We need to bust out of there. If we gap out today, 
okay if we gap out of that with a gap up higher pretty much i'd be looking to buy any dips early on and i'd be looking for a challenge of these highs if not break out higher unfortunately i know it sounds crazy but look technical analysis doesn't lie we report exactly what we see there's no bias to it okay guys Next is going to be IYT, the transportation ETF. You can see that we recaptured this uh, back in this horizontal uh, channel. Again, a little bit weak, not what I'd like to see as it's deemed our leader. So uh, it is the, does need to play a little bit of a catch up. But again, let's take out this area here. If we lose this little resistance here, we'll challenge the highs again in the transports. IWM, definitely the weakest of the bunch, guys, as you can see. We're barely back into the TMT proprietary price channels. Yes, it did hold support, key support areas, but we're still within this downtrend line. So this is our secondary leader. Look at our indicators. I marked them. They're making lower lows and lower highs. Not a good sign. Uh, but again, we can diverge from different indices, and like S&P can run this market higher along with the – with the, uh, um, uh, with, with, uh, technology and the other indices kind of falter and then play catch up or the other indices really pretty much put the brakes on the highs and then they start to f catch up to the uh, transports and the Russell okay so good good play today you could see the cues here uh, we're basically going to challenge the highs I would not suspect I would not um, what's the word I'm trying to use I would not even think about or hesitate this market going higher or at least challenging the highs and the cues it would be a no-brainer that we go higher, make new all-time highs, uh, and then get up in this area. See, I think technology is extremely expensive. I wouldn't touch Facebook. I wouldn't touch Amazon. I wouldn't touch any of those two until we get a decent correction. And even if the market goes higher, so be it. Let it go, guys. Don't, unless you're trading for the day, do not buy stocks that are overextended, especially like at Apple. Um, really, other than the cash that it has, there's really no innovative products going on. Uh, and these analysts just keep upgrading the stock. These retail guys just keep pumping the stock up. At one point, it's just going to go. And when it does go, it's going to hurt everybody. So just be careful out there. Come join us. Day trading, da daily daily uh, videos, 15 bucks. And again, guys, Pro Trader Premier Video, $69. Come check us out at uh, tradingmarkettechnicals.com. Have a profitable day. We'll see you tomorrow.